Welcome back to this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook, where we look at the other option for chocolate fudge that was in this book. I guess we can go ahead and try to compare it to the other one from Miss Eisenhower that we got oh, months ago at this point. We're going to compare. Is this one better? Easier? Uh, other adjectives I can't think of right now? One way to find out, and that is to watch this video on this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook. This week we're on location at my stove. And following the instructions, first thing we're going to do is take three fourths of a cup of milk and add two squares of unsweetened chocolate. Squares being a very arbitrary form of measurement. However, I went with the squares provided in the chocolate bar I got. We're placing this over low heat and we're going to cook the mixture until it is smooth and well blended, stirring constantly. Uh, I'd rather have done this probably a double boiler way, but following the instructions that we have, stir this constantly so the chocolate doesn't stick to the bottom, and you're stirring for a very long time. Once the mixture is well blended, we're going to go ahead and add our one tablespoon of corn syrup and two cups of granulated sugar. Then we're going to stir until the sugar is dissolved and mixture boils. Once it starts boiling, we're going to continue boiling without stirring until a small amount of mixture forms in a soft ball in cold water, which is apparently 234 degrees. I decided to just go with a thermometer. This took a very long time, as it was very stubborn. It did not want to go over 230 degrees, but be ever vigilant. Once we hit that 234 degrees, we're going to pull it off the heat, add one teaspoon of vanilla and one tablespoon of butter, and we're going to stir this until it's well combined, and the mixture cools to about 110 degrees. Once we hit that temperature, we're going to go ahead and put it into a grease pan and let it cool completely. Once it's cooled, we're going to garnish it with a little bit of salt and go ahead and cut it into squares. And there you have it. How's the taste? Not good. Kind of grainy. I think most, if not all of that reason is because I am completely inept and have not had much practice as far as making fudge before. Uh, if I had to compare this to the other recipe that we did, that one's way easier, more forgiving. This one is probably more the professional way of doing it, more involved, more work. Um, I would definitely need to do this maybe a few more times before I actually uh, fairly judge this one. But if you're looking for easy to make, very foolproof almost, but go ahead and make that other one that I provided a couple of months ago. But if you want the more authentic version, go ahead and give this a shot. Just maybe do it in a double boiler and block out a lot of time. Because boiling sugar is very stubborn. It does not like going over 230 degrees all that much. But anyway, thank you all for watching. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook. We'll see you here next week with another book, Cook.